I was recently introduced to the term ikigai. It's a Japanese word which literally translates to reason for being. And I'm told finding it requires a deep and lengthy inquiry into self. Now, I don't make any claims of having figured this out, but it's been a helpful framework for me to really think about what next. And in a way, it lies at the crux of why I found a transition inside. Over the last few years at Egon Zender and at McKinsey, I've had the opportunity to work with leaders across cultures and really understand what makes them tick. But this has also been an opportunity for me to reflect vicariously on what makes me tick. So I've come to realize that I really enjoy solving complex, multivariate problems, people problems, where uh, I can make a difference either to leaders or the choices they make, or help them make meaningful decisions in the context of leaders they hire or teams that they lead. What I'm good at, this is a tricky one. I have a tough time convincing my wife what I'm good at, so I don't expect you to take anything I say at face value. So I'd rather you listen to what some of the people I've worked with have to say about me and then make your own conclusions. The next piece is what the world needs or the problem I'm trying to solve. And when I thought about it, transitions felt like a meaty enough topic for me to devote my energies to really show perspectives to people and provide support to people so that they could navigate this phase effectively. And transitions are complex whichever lens you use to look at them. Whether you're a leader trying to hire people, I've seen several people sort of get lost in the maze of the fuzziness of leadership and in the link between leadership and business strategy. Second, you might have made the leadership decision to hire somebody or promote somebody, but I see several people sort of slipping on putting the scaffolding in place to set the person up for success. Thirdly, leaders, when they try and navigate around their life in terms of the choices they make, I find that they're incredibly lonely and often lost in the sea of options that are available in front of them. So whichever way we look at it, transition seemed like a meaty enough problem with two or three common characteristics. One, it's complex. Two, there are multiple variables at play and multiple stakeholders at play. And three, there's tremendous need for a trusted advisor who can confidentially and sensitively advise you on what the right approach is. To put it differently, Transitions are those passages of play which look like dots when you draw the curve over the long term either for an organization or for an individual's career. But actually if you double click on those dots, there's a journey that people are going through, often a lonely journey where there's an opportunity to provide perspective. The challenge often is that these are the vital few moments in people's lives where the choices they make have a disproportionate impact on how happy they are and how fulfilled they are. As I thought about the commercial case behind Transition Insight, what I felt was this was a meaty enough problem and if people really trusted what Transition Insight stood for and its capabilities to deliver what it promises, hopefully the commercial case would follow. So reflecting on these four dimensions basically gave me the courage of conviction to really found Transition Insight to see if I could make a difference in helping leaders make thoughtful transitions. The headline thought I want to leave you with is that this is not me trying to create the next million dollar business. This is me trying to play closer to what I believe is my sweet spot and me trying to make a difference to what's a big problem that all of us grapple with at different points in our lives. Thank you for listening.